glad to have some sunshine today. I just saw a sign that says turn right there to go to Whistler Olympic Park. We're still on the 99 going south-ish towards Vancouver and more than likely we will go back into the United States today. had a little bit of a challenge being here in Canada. I thought that my T-Mobile was going to work fairly well, which is what my traveling friend is on, is T-Mobile. And hers has worked fairly well until it throttled down. And even then it worked okay at night, but it's a little slower during the day. My T-Mobile is not working at all. And it did, I think it may have at first. I wasn't really sure, uh, but, and then it stopped working. And I haven't gotten it to work since then. So, I've been without phone service, internet, texting, data, surfing, any of that stuff. And the only time I've had any of it is when I have gone to public Wi-Fi which, you know, it's doable. You just get used to your Wi-Fi and your, and your phone service and your texting and all that good stuff, and you miss it. So, uh, I think the really, the main reason I miss it is because I can't do any research except for whenever I'm in a public place, and I don't do research well when I'm in a public place. I need kind of the sanctity of my van to do research as to what we're going to do next, where we're going to stay, uh, you know, how to plan our route, all that kind of stuff. So I've just kind of left it up to her, which has worked okay because she seems to enjoy deciding what we do. You know, I've had some input based on the research that I did before we came into Canada. So we just kind of put our two things together and come up with a plan each step of the way. I'm going to switch it around for a minute. I'm glad to see the sunshine today. See blue skies. There's some clouds too, but sunshine is beautiful. It was very cloudy and rainy yesterday. Sunshine on my shoulder makes me happy. Also, I've been thinking about this. Sunshine on my shoulder makes me happy. That's the new Nomad song. Yeah. <laughs> I can't zoom in right now, but there are snow under those clouds up there. Up on the mountains. It's a real jagged, rocky area. Very cool. I've not had as much opportunity to film in Canada as I would like. Because we go at a different pace than what would be normal for me when I'm trying to film a little bit here and there. I slow down a little bit. That's one of the reasons I like national parks is people are forced to go slower <laughs> for to admire the beauty. And so I enjoy that slower pace to also enjoy the beauty. Anytime I'm in pretty stuff like this, I probably would go 50 or so all the time because I just enjoy seeing it and taking the time to see it and film it when I can. I think we're about to have a view. Oh, there was your pull out. There was your viewpoint. Love it when there's nobody to stop for. I think we're around Squamish. Definitely one of those moments of I wish you could see what I see because that wall, that cliff is just massive and the colors on it are just stunning. So I hope this turns out in the film. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. Wow. Oh wow, look at this stuff over here on the left. 
must be a visitor center. Squamish Adventure Center. Wow, that's cool too. Yeah, we're in Squamish now. We gotta not forget to change money. That's one of those interesting words to say, Squamish. Look at this, guys. This is like incredible. I don't remember this. This is pretty stunning. to Shannon Falls. <laughs> I think this is the clearest water I have ever seen. That's incredible. Check out this nurse tree that grew up out of the old tree. Look how old the old one was, my goodness, that's crazy. That is freaking crazy. Line says, so I guess we're just stay right here. There's a lot 
of glass in Vancouver. Check that out. And then over here, traffic's crazy. Gotta go. So, just got ready. It looks like on Nelson Street. Look at the Sukas. They used to. That's why there's two of them so close together, because that's where the trolleys connect. She's talking about these wires overhead. Yeah. Cities. Ooh. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Green spaces on rooftops. Ugh. Continue on to I-5 South. 